Hello and welcome to our Tuesday talk. Okay, this is a common question we get. How do you determine who needs a breast lift or who needs an augmentation? A lot of times when I see my scheduled patients coming in for an augmentation and they think that's what they need and sometimes the misconception is, I know I have some sagging, I've had some children and if, if the implant is big enough, I just need an implant. Well, that's not always true, okay? Um, commonly, implants might be all that you need, particularly somebody who hasn't had any children and doesn't have any sagging, okay? That's, that's a no-brainer. That's somebody who would benefit from just an augmentation. Now, if you've had children, it depends on how much sagging you've developed, okay? A little bit of hollowness up top, you know, loss of upper pull, what we call loss of upper pull fullness, that may benefit from just having an augmentation. When the nipple position starts to come below the fold of the breast, that's when we start to talking about a lift. So what a lift is designed to do is elevate the position of the nipple so it's back on top of the uh, breast. And if your nipple position is too low, you really need to have a lift. If you have an augmentation, it's not going to look very natural. You might have larger breasts, but they're still saggy, or you might have an implant in a good position, but then the implant looks kind of separate from the breast and it looks like the breasts are hanging off of the implant they call sometimes a snoopy dog or snoopy ear deformity. So really the main deciding factor is what's the position of the nipple relative to the fold underneath the breast.